Nathan here from theebookreader.com. So my last video I showed how to root the Nook Glow Light using uh, the tiny root method. For this video I'm going to show some of the different things you can do with a rooted Nook Glow uh, and some different tips and tricks for getting started. So uh, basically uh, the first thing you need to know rooting is just basically getting access to files that aren't usually accessible to the user. So that way we can get access to the underlying uh, Android operating system. So first thing you need to know is your Nook will still work the same as it used to. You still have access to your library, you still got the uh, shop and all that stuff. It still works the same in the uh, sense that your Nook Glow is the, how it was before you rooted it. Uh, the main difference is now that you have uh, access to um, an Android home screen and you can install Android apps, a whole bunch of different apps. I got the window over here with different apps. Um, so when you first get started with this rooting method it installs the Amazon App Store um, so once you uh, set up the Amazon App Store you're going to need a micro SD card inserted into your Nook to download apps from Amazon and then once you got that good to go you can get apps from other places so first thing as I did is I downloaded Opera Mini so it's this web browser right here um, and if you were wondering I've got the uh, directions on how to uh, root the Nook Glow right here on the uh, ebookreader.com um, so uh, basically you can install this web browser and then you can install apps from different app, uh, app stores so what I did is I installed the one mobile market using the web browser so that way I can access the one mobile app store to get a bunch of different um, apps from them as well as the Amazon app store because the Amazon app store doesn't have everything um, so like uh, for instance uh, a couple of things when you're using the Amazon app store I noticed that the Kindle app from there won't work the Aldeco app won't work you've got to use older versions of these apps to get them to work uh, so like the Kindle 3.1 works and Aldeco 2.0 works, the newer ones don't. So I got these two from uh, Android Freeware actually. Um, I'll have the links to these apps on my uh, written review portion of this uh, uh, article. So basically that's one of the main uh, advantages with reading your Nook is you can install these alternate ebook apps. So uh, like Amazon, the Kobo app and Aldeco and Cool Reader. These ebook apps all work very well. Uh, so the Kindle app, the uh, buttons don't work. The, for the Nooks buttons right here don't work so you gotta use the touch screen like normal but uh, otherwise the app works fine um, you've got the on-screen highlights you got the dictionary, you can download the dictionary you can do the notes and highlights so it's just the Kindle for Android app and you've got the same features as usual you type in here and you can uh, adjust the font size you get your different settings down here and so you can actually um, shop for Kindle ebooks directly from this app as well. So it's just the whole basic um, Kindle app experience. You've got the different archives here. Like I said, the newer version of the app doesn't work, but this older version, it works fine. And the same goes with Aldeco. Um, the 2.0 version seems to work okay. I had the 2.2 version installed and it worked initially. I opened up a book, I even downloaded a book from Feedbooks using the built in store. And then it, every time I tapped on it, it wouldn't work after that. So uh, I installed this older 2.0 version, and it is working fine. As you can see, um, you've got the whole set of Aldeco features where you can put different font types in here. Uh, and of course, like I said, you can shop from the uh, app stores within here as well. cool thing about Aldeco is it supports Adobe DRM, so you can read uh, DRM books in here as well. And the uh, font looks really good on the Aldeco app here. So the Kindle app, the default fonts are a little spindly. Um, but it works. Uh, I like these fonts be definitely better uh, with Aldeco and Cool Reader. Cool Reader has really dark fonts. You can actually set the uh, embolden feature with Cool Reader. Um, cool thing about Cool Reader is the uh, page buttons work just by default. You can just use the page buttons to turn pages. And the font is really nice and dark. Uh, I've got the uh, embolden setting right there, so uh, the font looks really nice. Um, cool Reader is probably the, the best uh, app to go with on the Rooted Nook Touch. As far as DRM free ebooks go, it works really well. And so, uh, one thing, uh, another app here that works is the Kobo app. It works quite well. Again, the page buttons don't work on this app, they just work in the Cool Reader one and uh, you can use the regular Nook app obviously and then uh, you tap the pages here it uh, turns pages quite uh, fast as far as the ink goes the Kindle one it kind of flashes extra sometimes but the uh, Kobo app it works uh, pretty darn well actually on the rooted Nook Touch okay so the Nook Touch is notorious for being pretty awful when it comes to PDF reading so when you root it you got some different options you can install some other PDF apps uh, uh, easy PDF reader works okay 
Uh, still, a 7 inch screen isn't going to be your best option. So, um, another thing you can do here is install the uh, No Refresh app. So, this uh, is a cool refresh, No Refresh app. So, you can go like this and it doesn't refresh the screen. And that works well when you're using um, an app like Easy PDF and you want to scroll through your uh, PDF. So, let's go ahead and open up a file here and I'll show you how this works. So, this No Refresh app was developed for the Nook Touch and it works on the Nook Glow as well. Um, there's some different ways to use it. What I do is I hold down the home button on the, this is button savior over here you can use to navigate. And I hold down the home button. It pulls up your recent apps and you can activate uh, the no refresh app here and you can set the contrast by using those arrows right there. And that way you can just scroll without it refreshing constantly. That also works really well for the web browser. Okay, so the um, No Refresh app, it uh, comes in handy when you're using the web browser as well because uh, scrolling can be a little bit wonky um, just because it constantly wants to refresh. So it's going to be a little awkward when you're using that, but if you enable the No Refresh, then you can scroll a lot easier without the screen constantly refreshing. Okay, one thing I've noticed uh, with the glow light on, it does seem to uh, make it more apparent with the ghosting. So you can see more ghosting lines in here than if you have the light off, you can't really see them as much. So one thing I find myself doing often is I hit this button twice and it refreshes the screen and gets rid of that stuff. So uh, some of the other apps I have installed on here that are working well. So this doesn't come, this uh, tiny root package, it doesn't come with any of the Google apps, which is just fine by me because I can install these other apps anyway. Uh, but it doesn't have like Google Reader, so what I did is I installed NewsRob right here, and that's an RSS reader, and you can install, uh, you can set it up with your Google Reader account that way, so you can get the your RSS feeds on here. That's a good way to read news feeds on the Nook. Um, some other apps, so I've got uh, uh, EF File Explorer. It makes it a lot easier for navigating your files. Um, so you got the different uh, folders here. If you like using folders, obviously, uh, this is the way to go because then you can have all your ebooks and folders and you can navigate it this way. It's a lot easier uh, when you want to delete stuff and find stuff as well uh, using an actual file manager as opposed to just the library that the regular Nook has. Uh, so we've got the Dropbox installed. Another thing I really like to use is the color note so I can use it to uh, create notes and uh, uh, checklists. That's kind of a handy little utility. Right here I've got this uh, battery monitor installed or this battery widget. You can download that from one mobile. Um, and it's a battery widget and then you can put it down here and you get the exact percentage of what your battery is at. Another thing that I downloaded from One Mobile is you'll notice the difference if you have your uh, Nook rooted is that uh, normally it's black background right here and it's kind of hard to read. So what I did is I went over to One Mobile and I downloaded the minimalistic black theme for ADW. The uh, ADW is the launcher we're using here and that way um, it uh, darkens the text a little bit here under the uh, icons and then it gets you the uh, background right here is kind of a nicer background than the stock launcher so that's uh, just one thing you might want to install. Some of the other apps I have on here um, we've got a calculator so you can install that calculator app if you want to do some calculations on your Nook. Got this sketch pad installed it's just a basic sketch pad. So I've got this widget installed, I can turn Wi-Fi on and off quickly. So that's just sort of uh, some of the different things you can do with a rooted Nook Touch. And like I said, obviously you can still access your uh, regular Nook features down here and go to the home screen, you got all your Nook shop and everything. Um, so sometimes I've noticed that your taskbar disappears up there. If you do, if it does, you just go like that, it pulls down, and you get your taskbar up here. So uh, like that showed right there is it's always going to be pesting you to update like Aldigo and Kindle but you don't want to do it because then they're not going to work. Some of the other utilities that the uh, reading package comes with is Nook Color Tools. You can get into your settings that way and uninstall apps. Oh so a uh, way to uninstall apps, let me show you here. If you just hold an item and then you take it, drag it up here to the trash can and if you hold it for a couple of seconds it will ask you to drop to uninstall and then from there you can choose to uninstall it if you'd like. So that's a quick way to uninstall apps. So of course the glow light still works when you're rooted, you just hold the button as usual. And you also got the little icon up here, the menu you can access and turn the light on and adjust the brightness as usual. So uh, that's a cool feature with the glow light being able to read at night. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this review right here. 
Check out the ebookreader.com for the written review associated with this article. I'll have some download leaks for the Aldico and the Kindle apps that work, as well as where you can get the No Refresh app and some of the other utilities on here. So uh, check that out, and thank you for watching.